What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I just want to do a follow-up video to yesterday's tutorial with regards to chopping in Logic Pro. Uh, DJ Wickstar is a YouTube uh, user and he commented on the video giving another method in which you can go about chopping up your loops and he or she wrote, or you could just turn on flex time, right click, slice at transients and convert to a sampler track. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you that method here as well just so you guys know it. As well, I'm going to show you another method that I use that is a fairly quick one at that as well. Basically, what I like to do here is basically here at a Miami Music Mogul, we like to basically show you different ways in which you can do something and then you guys choose which method you like, which one works for you and works the way you want it to work. Then you can decide from here and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do DJ Wickstar's method. First step here she said to do is turn on flex time. How do we do that? Well, hit escape on your keyboard, go to the flex tool, click it and then click on your region or you could simply hit command F and in this track side right here, choose a flex mode and basically the one that works well on drums is slicing and there it is right there. I'm going to go ahead and play out my drums just so you hear how it sounds. I didn't do it before which is bad but let's play it now. So as you can see, it is a fairly clean drum loop and I chose this one basically so it'll work nicely with the flex tool and whatever I'm gonna show you for the tutorial's sake. Not all drum loops are gonna work this nice, so just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on my loop right here after we applied the flex tool to it. And if you can uh, see right here, little faint lines, that is your transient markers that the flex tool is cut into your audio file. So you got to make sure you have that. Once you do a flex tool, it is going to be there. Just want to show you that they're there. And then they said to do slice at transient. So right click, slice at transient markers, select all, and then convert to a sampler track. Now, you don't have to actually slice it up to before you uh, convert to a sampler track. All you have to do is just uh, apply the flex mode which is slicing and then right click on the region and go convert to new sampler track and logic will do it for you because if you notice up here we're not going by regions we're going by transient markers and that's what these faint little lines here are for they are transient markers so we go ahead name our track and our trigger note range hit ok and then here is our EXS24 instrument right here Alright, so here's another method in which I like to use on my drums. This is probably a bit more effective than the flex tool. Honestly, I don't really use the flex tool that much to chop up my audio. Basically, I use the flex tool to kind of move my audio around. I use this method probably a lot of times for just on drums because it, this works really well on drums. Not so much on um, instruments and kind of strings that you want to chop up like that. But I'm going to show it to you anyways so you guys can chop up your drums. So I'm going to go ahead and double click my region. Hit this little uh, thing right here. Kind of looks like a, to a tall tower next to two small towers. Click it. And then that is going to show you your transient markers like I told you. There they are right there. And if they're not actually placed at the proper area, if you want to apply more transient markers because they didn't give enough, just go right next to it and hit plus or minus. And you can add or take away transient markers. I'm just going to put it back because Logic actually applied them correctly. So I'm going to check, yeah, I got all my transient markers at the beginning of my attack times, at my transients. And then all we have to do is right click on our region, convert to new sampler track. Keep in mind we got transient markers so we don't have to chop up our region. Hit OK. And Logic will create an EXS24 instrument for us and we can go ahead and, and play. All right, I know I only told you I'm going to show you two methods in this video, but I lied. I'm going to show you a third method right now as well. Now, if you remember what I said earlier, this drum works really well with um, Logic figuring out where the transients are. That's why I chose it. So I'm going to show you this method. Now, this method is the fastest, but not, might not be the most effective. And that's why I showed you the prior other ones, as well as yesterday's clip as well. So in this one, it's very simple. All you have to do is right click on your uh, actual region and go to convert to new sampler track. Click it. Again, transient markers is going to go by, and there it is, our drums, the trigger note range, name the track. Logic will do its thing, and then I can bring up my instrument that I just created and play it out. So as you see, that is the quickest way. You don't have to do anything. But that's why I said some instruments won't work properly like this, just because all the transients might not be exactly the way they should be. 
like I showed, told you before, this loop does work well. Some loops won't work as well. This is very clear transients for logic to read. All right, if you have any other questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you have a comment like DJ Wickstar, comment it. I'll read it, and uh, maybe I'll do another video on that as well. So, uh, yeah, remember to rate and subscribe. Actually, don't rate. There is no more rate. I keep saying that. <laughs> Just subscribe, guys, and thumbs up the video. I'll talk to you soon, guys. Later.